gonna start with exponential growth. Exponential growth uh, means that, you know, it's something like e to the x. It's a, a really fast-growing function. It's not, it's not a polynomial. See my video, see my holograph video to, to, to find out what, what polynomial means. Um, anyway, um, that was a little bit of a tangent. I don't know. A single person, a single sick person with coronavirus can transmit the virus to at most three other people, which is a lot compared to other, um, viruses. Well, why? Let's, let's see. In zero iterations, the, in the zeroth iteration, this person became infected. In the first iteration, these three people became infected. Every single one of those people in the next iteration can transmit the virus as well to three other people, which makes for a total of nine people getting infected in the second iteration. Well, yeah, and so on. And each of these can spread the virus to three other people. And you get 27 in the third iteration, 81 in the fourth iteration. You can see this grows, this, this grows pretty quickly. Uh, 243 in the fifth iteration. It, it multiplies by three each time. But this, but it is, it, but it gets worse. These numbers here, this, this number here, are the people that got infected in the fifth iteration. If you want to see the whole history, you need to add up all these numbers to see how many people got infected, let's say after 10 iterations. So after 10 iterations, after 10 iterations, you will get Fifty nine thousand and forty nine people infected. That this is in the tenth iteration. In the tenth iteration, after ten iterations, the number will be different. You have to add up the number of people who are in the tenth and the ninth and the eighth and so on. So it's actually one plus three plus nine plus and so on plus. Uh, 3 to the power of n minus 1 plus 3 to the n. Uh, I'm, I'm generalizing, generalizing this because, um, you know, I want a general formula for after n iterations, not just after 10. So, how do we calculate this? I'm going to do this in a square. So... This square has an area of 3 to the n plus 1. This, this can be expressed in a different way, like this. I'm going to chop this square up into three sections. So they, and because of three sections, each of these is 3 to the n plus 1 over 3. Guess what? This is 3 to the n multiplied by 3. 3's cancel. It's just 3 to the n. The area of this is 3 to the n. That goes for every single one of them. The third one I'm not going write, to write down because I'm going to chop this one up further into three sections. And you can apply a similar equation that each of these sections is going to be 3 to the n minus 1. I guess you can see where this is going. The last one I'm not going to write out. Instead, I'm going to uh, chop it up. So this is chop it up. Let's. This is now 3 to the n minus 2. 3 to the n minus 2. Chop. 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 
yeah, and so on. And you can see, this is a way to fit, let's just look at the red numbers. 3TM plus 3TM minus 1 plus 3TM minus 2 plus 3TM and so on. So the red area is the series. The green area, if you look at that, is also this series. So the red plus the green is the total area. But because they're the same, it's basically just double the series. Is the total area. Uh, which is... Now, we can divide both sides by 2 to get our approximation. Now, I said approximation because there, this will go on infinitely. But there will always be a tiny square left that will not be splittable. And because it will not be splittable, this will have an area of 1. So when we have our answer, that will turn into an area of 1 half. So if we subtract 1 half off of this, that will, that will give our answer. You'll, you'll see that this is basically just rounding it down. This is how many people will be infected after n iterations. So let's do it for n equals 10. Let's calculate this. 3 to the power of 11 is equal to this number. 177,147. I'm going to have it. 88,573.5. If we subtract a half, so we can just round it down, but we're going to subtract a half. So, 88,573 people get infect infected after 10 iterations. Just from one person? Just from a single person! So, one single person? If that person starts by infecting three other people and no more, can after ten iterations, so after those people have contact further with other people ten times, become responsible for infecting 88,573 people. Wow. That's very counterintuitive. Yeah, it is. Um. Just for fun, let's calculate the number of days that it requires for to complete one iteration. Okay. Um, so, unfortunately, I don't know the data that well, so I'm going to just look up by what factor the number of cases of coronavirus multiplies every day. So, yeah. I got a number. Um, so, the... Uh, it depends on when, when, whether you take the average mean, the average or the geometric mean, but, but, but either way, it rounds to 1.034. Um, this is only counting from February 19th up until, all the way to yesterday. So this right here is, this is the average ratio between the number of cases in a day not th that appeared in a given day just that that the number that there were the day before but that's a very low number it is a very low number if if you look at it but like for example my the period that i looked at was Okay, we have February 19th, February 29th, March 7th, March 14th, 28th, and then two more. So 30, 30 days, and 1.034, that number, to the power of 30 is almost three times. So just 
just for comparison's sake, um, um, on that date, there were, I think, around 75,000. Registered cases worldwide? In yeah, in February 19th. And then yesterday, it was 180,000. So, over here, we assumed that it was every person can pass it on to three more people. That iteration sense was a little bit V, you know, so I need to quantify what 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 exactly an iteration is. So and then we would be able to convert that to days. So so every iteration it multiplies by three. Whereas every day it multiplies by this number. So what we need to do is after how many days did one iteration complete? So 1.034 to the power of the number of days. So to the power of what number, I'm going to call x, um, is equal to 3. This, this should remind you of something. Uh, logarithms. So if we take the log base 1.034 of 3, that's going to equal x. And what is x? What is x? Let's calculate it. x is the number, the number of days per iteration. Based on this number and based on what we've seen to the one point zero three four to the power of thirty is ever so slightly less than three. It's I think it's gonna take more than a month for one iteration to pass. Uh considering the rate at which it's spreading today, right? Yes. Uh, not it, at which is spreading today, the average taken over... Well, but today, I mean... Yeah, exactly. By uh, Over the past month. Yeah. We're gonna just um, do this, and and, we're, and we can upgrade our model any any time. We're, this is this is a very, very basic model, and we're, gonna, and we're gonna upgrade it using a simulation, but don't worry about it. We're just gonna... We're gonna upgrade it. Now... Unfortunately, my calculator doesn't have log base 1.034. Just go ahead, take an iPad. Um, no, my iPad doesn't. Also, doesn't. I think. Well, I, you have another scientific calculator. I think no calculator has that feature because. Uh, but, but we're in luck. There is a change of base formula for a logarithm that that can convert uh just a logarithm of any base to a logarithm of any base to a natural logarithm. So, and, and, and this calculator does have a button for a natural logarithm. So I'm going to use that formula. Unfortunately, I don't have it memorized. <laughs> <laughs> but can't you calculate it in Wolfram? Even using this uh, base? Yeah, I can calculate it in the Wolfram line, just, just, but just for fun, I'm gonna calculate it this way. Okay. I'm just trying. I'm really stupid in logs, so I was I was just trying to like figure it out for myself. So this means, to which to which power I have to raise one to get three. But how can I even raise no, one? No, but, but it's a tiny bit more than one. <laughs> okay. Which is gonna make all the difference. So so here's the change of base formula written out. So so log of any base of a is the natural log. So, the log base B of A is the natural log of A divided by the natural log of B. So, all we need to do is figure out the natural log of 1.034 and divide the natural log of 3 by it. And then, and then we, we get, get our, X. Yeah. <sighs> Hang on. Let me get my scientific calculator. 3? Hang on. Uh, 3 natural log. Divided by 1.034 natural log equals 
32.858, let's call it 33. So 33 days, it takes 33 days in order for one iteration to be completed. Okay. Uh, we're gonna just... And we've do, got 10 iterations. We're gonna just do a little bit... We're gonna do just a little bit more of, with this. We're gonna do a little bit more with this. So I'm gonna raise 1.034 to that power, to the power of 33. Yeah, and you get three in some number. So let's do that. Now, this means that after almost a year... Yeah, because it's 33 times 10, <laughs> the, 10 iterations. The number of, in, the number of in, infections will, will multiply by this number. Okay, so basically if I put it in, translate it to simple language, for me, if I've got coronavirus, which I don't think I have so far, but imagine I have, and if I go out and meet three people, it's going to take 330 days for, for the virus that came from me to reach 88,573 people. Did I say that right? Yes. So, but then imagine a country with millions. And if every one of them is going to go out and meet at least three people every day, for example. Then this number won't be realistic. Then which number? This number won't be realistic. So you think that this number already reflects the self-isolation that some of us have embarked upon, yes. like our family. So this number is going to grow, and if this number is going to grow, then this number this is number is going to grow. No, then then this number. If this number is going to grow, then this number is going to shrink. Or maybe. Yeah, I because mean, I have to raise a, to less and less exactly to power to do it, and so this number will also shrink. Yeah, to let you you will have to you will have a greater number here. So to achieve three, the uh, the power will become smaller. So you will reach that goal, so to speak, that negative goal, in in fewer and fewer days, right? And what is the conclusion then? That it's really important to continue with, uh, yeah, meeting as few people as possible, right? Yes. Or not? Yeah, because I want to keep this number small, you know? And you want to th keep thinking big. <laughs> this may not be it, though. And this is a really, really basic model that makes a lot of assumptions that are, like, just not true. So, for example, like, the growth rate stays the same, uh, stays constant, uh, which is the definition of exponential growth, but really, it sort of changes. So, can we make a better model? Uh, yeah, we can make a better model. We're gonna, uh, I don't know, maybe... I'm saying we, but I mean you. Because <laughs> I can't make a model. Uh, part two? So there will be a part two.